you guys know what type of functional group this is? A nitrate. Yeah. Actually, I, I think I told you guys that it was cyanide before, but I probably shouldn't have said that. It's better to call this a nitrile. Um, cyanide is when you have the ionic form. It's best to reserve, I think, the name cyanide for the ionic form. This is either called a cyano group or best to just call it a nitrile. And even though it doesn't look like the other carboxylic acids, it's considered a carboxylic acid. It is a carboxylic acid or derivative? Uh, yeah, it's a derivative, I should have said. Even though it doesn't look like the other carboxylic acid derivatives, it is a carboxylic acid derivative. Any suggestions what the product might be here? Carboxylic acid. That would be the case if we just added the H3O plus. That would be a hydrolysis. But this is not a hydrolysis because we're adding the hydride first. Uh, I would say it would be NH2, mm -hmm. like a amine. <laughs> yeah, it will be an amine. Again, to save time, we won't go through the full mechanism for this. I just wanted to have all these lithium aluminum hydride things on one place um, so we can compare these. Okay. Um, by the way, these are what are called reductions. Remember that an oxidation um, is when you're gaining bonds to electronegative elements, and a reduction is when you're losing bonds to electronegative elements. Well, here we're losing bonds to electronegative elements. Or another definition of reduction is when you're gaining hydrogens. Well, we're definitely gaining hydrogens here. So these are reductions. These are hydride reductions. Where do you suppose that this hydrogen came from? It takes a nucleophilic hydrogen to attack the electrophilic carbon. That's right. Uh, and probably this came from the lithium aluminum hydride too. Where would this hydrogen come from? The acid. All right, because it takes an electrophilic hydrogen to attack the nitrogen. So here we're back to needing the hydronium again, because now we need to add hydrogens to both the electrophile and the nucleophile. Okay? Um, to compare these two reactions. Here's another way to make amines. We can also make amines out of uh, nitriles, with again using a hydride reduction. So lithium aluminum hydride reacts pretty similarly with amides and with nitriles. Okay, so um, I wanted to put these all in one place because it's easy to confuse these reactions with each other. We didn't go through the full mechanisms for most of these, but at least we have all the predicting the products over here. Um, I briefly mentioned sodium borohydride. Um, I think sodium borohydride would only work up here. Sodium borohydride is too weak to do any of these other reactions down here. So, except for this first reaction with an aldehyde or a ketone. I should have said this was either an aldehyde or a ketone. Sodium borohydride would work here, but it wouldn't work in these, any of these other cases. Uh, some of these reductions can be done with H2 and metal. Some of these reductions can be done with hydrogenation. I don't remember which ones. Uh, let's see. I'm ha I happen to be looking in the book, and it says that this nitrile can be done with H2 and a metal catalyst. Kind of like the way that you would hydrogenate an alkene. Just like we could Last term, we saw how we could hydrogenate um, alkene double bonds, and we also saw how we could hydrogenate alkyne triple bonds. So it's not too surprising that we can hydrogenate this nitrile. It's human PDC versus PTC. Yeah, things like that. Okay, um, so um, I don't uh, know whether you could use hydrogenation here. Uh, I'd have to look that up, but you, uh, I'm just looking here in the book, and it says you can hydrogenate this. So that's an alternative for um, this, the nitrile. You can use hydrogenation down here. All right, very good. So this is a way to make amines. Um, but of course, this only works if you can get these starting materials. Well, this isn't too hard. We know how to make amides. Remember that amides are at the bottom of the reactivity table. So if we have anything up above that, we can easily make an amide. Um, and what, what's a good way to make a nitrile? How can you get this cyanide group into a SN2. molecule? SN2. We can use cyanide as a nucleophile and have it attack a alkyl halide and that'll put a cyanide group in. Of course, that only works if you're willing to add an extra carbon. But if you want to make an amine with one extra carbon, uh, cyanide SN2 would be a good way to go. Okay, all right. 
All right, so uh, that would be one other form. Okay. Um, now, the next thing to go over is the Gabrielle synthesis. Yeah. Okay. Was there a question there? No. Okay. All right, so here's a good way to make amines. We saw that the SN2 direct alkylation had drawbacks. So here we learned, we saw some alternatives. Of course, these are not ways to make amines, but I just thought it would be good to go over them at the same time. So we have everything about lithium hydride in one place.